Hey, good morning, everybody. Today's morning devotional, Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, as shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This is a psalm of David. David, you know, being a shepherd boy, penned this psalm, and he likens the Lord's care and the Lord's love to that of a shepherd. As you read through the psalm, you'll see the different um, allusions between the shepherd and the sheep. But verse one is really what I want to talk to you about for time's sake. He says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Listen, when God is our shepherd, when we make the Lord our shepherd, and we know that he's the one that's watching over us, he's the one that's corralling us, he's the one that's protecting us, He's the one that is leading us to those green pastures. He's the one that is guiding us through life. When we start to realize that more and more and more in our Christian walks, we don't need to fear anybody. We don't need to fret. We don't need to lose our minds about the things of the day and the things of the world and what's going on with the economy and, the, and politics and everything else because there's somebody bigger than that that is watching over his sheep. And the more and more we realize that, the more and more we won't be people that are in want, in want. Notice what he says, he goes, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. When God is your shepherd and you make him your shepherd and you go to him and you trust in him and you realize he's bigger than all the problems, all the issues of the day and all the issues of life. God is bigger than all of those things. You, you, you're less in want. What, 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 what I mean by that is this, that sometimes we live our lives on such an earthly plane that if I don't have this, if I don't get that, I need to get the next best thing or have the next best thing. I'm, I feel like I'm in want all the time. I'm so needy for the things of this world. Listen, when the Lord is your shepherd, you're not in want because God is everything. He's given you everything. And more than that, he watches over you. He has a plan and a purpose for you. So take that to heart this morning. The Lord is your shepherd don't want, just want for him. When you want for him, all the other little blessings seem to fall into place. And then finally, when we get to the end, surely goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our life. And then we get to dwell in the house of the Lord forever. May God bless you.